President Trump often says that maybe he should have held back some of his early attacks on Elizabeth Warren because he says when he focused so much on her confusing claims of Native American ancestry, it might have knocked her down too much too early. And there might be something to that because there are these new CNN head-to-head -head polls, and she is the only Democrat that he beats. And while Elizabeth Warren loses, these matchups do find that Beto O'Rourke beats Trump by 10. Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders win by six each. Kamala Harris wins by four. Mayor Pete wins by three. Support for the president's reelection you see there ranges from 42 percent to 48 percent. But none of these matchups are even close to materializing because Democratic primary voters still haven't cast a single vote. And President Trump is handicapping the field based on his own primary history. I announced and I think I was pretty much mm -hmm. right. At, I, I know I was at the top from the beginning. I think mm -hmm. he is now leading. Mm -hmm. uh, Bernie would be second. We'll see what happens. Who would you rather face? Oh, well, I don't want to say that to you, but I, I don't think it matters very much. I think we're going to do well. We have the strongest economy that we've ever had. We're doing phenomenally. The president has laid into Joe Biden lately, but Politico reports Jared Kushner wants him to leave Biden alone, quoting a Trump advisor as saying, we've asked him, I've personally asked him to stop. It's not helping us. It's helping Biden. We don't think Biden can make it out of the woke Democratic primary, but he will if the president gives him oxygen. And Biden is riding high after announcing right now, but that is a position that Beto and Kamala Harris and Bernie Sanders have all been in, too.